down to the, it's a, it's coming down to where the devil knows where he's going. Yeah. And I believe that, I believe that people just, he's trying to, it says he'll deceive the very elect if it be yeah. possible. Right. If it be possible, said he'd, de he'd deceive the very elect. He caused those that believed for years not to believe no more. Right. Caused those that loved him as fasted and you prayed to, to say there's no why to make the circumstances here seem beyond what God can do. Right. God can do all things. Yes, sir. He can do all things. I love him. He's a good God. We're, we're just appreciating. We've been excited all morning. You know, I'm excited as a pastor seeing two come that I've been witnessing to for about two years. Been asking them to come and just keep right after them. And asking them and missing them to them. And but really what got me going with them was I was down to a place one day down there Branchland and or Meat Kiff and her husband heard me telling some people the right way about the Bible. They was quoting things wrong and saying things wrong and, and I was just telling them what the Bible said and, and he went home and said, I, he said, told his wife, said, I met somebody read the whole Bible. <laughs> <laughs> and then that got us even closer, you know, right. doing it. She kept stopping me and asking me. And then we finally got to go down and have prayer with them and things like that. And it just brings them. To, I want them to know the truth about Jesus. Amen. I want them yeah. to know the truth about it. I want right. them to come yeah. to him the right way. Yep. He's a good God. And I believe in, I know they left early, but that's all right. They, they said all, they will they be all, back. They said they will be back. As far as I know, I guess that's his first time oh, yeah. ever in a church. Yep. From what I understand. And hers in four years, she was down there at that church, and in four years, you know, that she'd been right. back. So we praise the Lord for that today. Right. We really do. Yeah. Lord, so the light shine. If we keep our, that gives that should give us encouragement. Whoever you're talking to, if it's been two years, keep on keep talking. On. Keep, on. Right. keep on telling them. That's keep right. on asking them. Right. Keep on witnessing to them. Don't stop. That's right. No matter who it is. No matter how much they're right. into it more. Well, they've just got deeper in the drug. That's all right. Keep witnessing to them. Right. I got some I witnessed too. All do is that right there. Yep. That's all they can do. Right. They're, they're plumb tweaked out. Right. But I know God can straighten that head up. Yes, he can. I know God can make them walk straight. That's right. he, I know what God can bring them out from under the bridges. Uh -huh. okay. he, I'm telling you, He can. He, I know God, they're ashamed, Brother Wayne. Yeah. Why, they, why they hold their head down? Why they're ashamed? They're ashamed, but I got a God can raise their head back up. Right. No matter how many needle marks, how many scars, no matter how many tattoos, yes, He can on. raise their head up and bring them up to a place yes. of royalty. I'm in royalty today. Yes. I am. I was once down with a beggar in a dung hill, but now I'm sitting upon a rock right. that Amen. can't be moved, yes. and I'm sitting in a, in a royal place Amen. today, right. in heavenly places, in heavenly places. with Christ Jesus. Right, yeah. right now. Right. He's a good God, ain't he? Yes, Amen. Amen. They don't know who they're talking to when they're talking to me and you. Amen. Amen. We're royal people. That's right. That's right. Tawana, you're royal. Do you we're understand that? Amen. Royal people. Amen. That's right. Royal a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a yeah. peculiar people, yes. a set apart people. It's God's people. Yes. Amen. I love him. He's a good guy. I thank you, Jesus. All right. <coughs> 1 Corinthians 7 and 20. <coughs> 7 and 20. 1 Corinthians 7 and 20. You got your Bibles? You don't hang a line, do you? But I encourage you to bring your Bibles. That's right. Hey, man. Or if we not need to sit around all sad. No. We're God's people. No. Know. I was going down the road the other day and said, Lord, you got it. Lord, you got it. Lord, it, it, I just give me, Lord, I want to be able to. I want. We got to get to where we can lay it in His hand. Yes. That's right. Just, Lord, you got my boy. Yeah. Lord, you've got my boy. I just I was going up nine mile the other day before I went around the curb to where his house is. Lord, you got this. Amen. That's right. You got this. I know you do. I know you do. But we gotta be able to trust him in that way. Amen. We really right. do. We've got to be able to trust him. Keep witnessing, keep it fighting, but trust him in. Amen. Love you, Jesus. Maybe a simple message, short message, long message, I don't know, but this is what the Lord gave me for today. <clears throat> 1 Corinthians 7 and 20 says, For ye are bought with a price, therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Let's pray. Dear most kind, gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we love you. We appreciate you. We thank you, Jesus, for this word right here. We thank you, Lord, for how you've worked today, God. 
We thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in people. We thank you, Lord, for the witness of what you're doing in people. We love you, Jesus, Lord. We ask you to have your way in our life, Lord. We pray, Lord God, Lord, that we humble ourselves before the mighty hand of God so we can be used before you today. Use these lips of clay, Lord, to bring out the oracles of God, Lord, and to do what you need done. We believe we're in your heart today, God. Lord, that these people, Lord, and this congregation, this body, Lord, this family can receive, Lord, what's needed from heaven today. We love you and we appreciate you, Jesus. And we thank you for it all in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And amen. 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 Give him a hand, clap. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We read that. It says, For you are bought with the price, therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. We've got to understand that we're bought with a price. It's a great price that was paid. But that my thought was coming for what he bought. He's coming one day for what he bought. Amen. You know, I could, I could tell each one of you, I got a 10 pound of hamburger down at food fair paid for for each one of you if you go get it. If you go get it. But you know what? If you don't go get it, there's still 10 pounds that was left there that was not picked up. That was not bought. God's not slack concerning his promise. As some men count slackness, but as long suffering to us, we're not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But that the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, and in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with a fervent heat, and the earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burned up. He's not slack concerning his promise. He's coming back for what he bought. He's coming back, and we need to get ourselves ready. For the day that's coming, that when he takes and splits the eastern sky, when which uh, when he comes upon that cloud, I believe he's coming on a cloud. He said he's coming back on a cloud. I believe yeah. he said his same Jesus you see go away. He's coming back in like manner. I believe that with all my heart. I, I look up, was looking at the cloud this morning. I said, would that be that one? But I, I don't know for some reason. I just believe that one. There's just going to be some rays coming out from it. I believe that. Yeah, well, I ain't trying to get in the mind of Hollywood. I'm trying to. I just want my Jesus. I, I believe in all possibility he's going to be magnified to yes. the most highest. Amen. And when he comes, it's yep. going to be the most beautiful scene. Yes. It's going to be the most, well, the Bible speaks of terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Great and terrible day of the Lord. And that word terrible don't mean the terrible that we're thinking of. It's going to be wonderful. Oh, it's going yeah. to be gracious. It's going to be beautiful. Yeah. It's going to be unexplainable. Only his sight is going to be able to explain what we see in our eyes. It's, it's just like his name. There's nothing like the name of Jesus. Right. Everything when we say the name of Jesus goes all the way back to Noah. goes all the way back to Adam and Eve. It brings forth everything that he said. That's the name of Jesus. It reminds him of the Red Sea. It reminds him the promises of his children. It reminds him that we're in him for his name today. Right. But I love him. He's a good God. But we need to get ready. Because he's bought us. He's bought. He's purchased. He paid a price on a cross that we could come and have life more abundant if we'll come to it. Y'all's already down there at food fair getting your hamburger. You should be. Why? Because it's paid for. Right. It's paid for. That's right. We ought to be collecting and owning up to the what we have got that's already been paid for. Yes. Healing's already been paid for. Yes. A sound mind. Thank you, a meek and a quiet spirit. A temperance about us, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temper. All this has been bought and it's been paid for. Yep. We need to move up to it. Amen. We need to go get what's ours, and, right. and that's already it's already been bought. He's coming back for what he's bought, brother Wayne, yes, yes. and it's going to be in me and it's going to be in you. Amen. Amen. Acts twenty and twenty eight says, "Take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over that which the Holy Ghost hath made you overseers to feed the church of God, which He hath purchased with His own blood." He purchased us with his own blood. Right. This is how we have our being today is through Christ Jesus. The only way that we can be who we are today is if we'll take and fear God and keep his commandments because that's your whole duty. That's the only reason that you was conceived in the womb. That's the only reason that he's left us around. That's the only reason that he just didn't zap everything away when it come down to them following in the garden. It happened, Brother Wayne, and we know today that the only way that we're going to brought out is by the purchase that he made, that we come to the purchase. The purchase was with his blood on the cross and for us to believe that he right. come through a virgin Mary. 
Uh -huh. People still ain't got it that he can, they can believe all this stuff today that a woman can be turned into a man by surgery and that a man can be turned into a woman by surgery, but they can't humble themselves to believe that a virgin had a baby by the Spirit of God. Oh. I can believe that a whole lot easier than I can yeah. believe that you being a man can make a baby. There ain't no way. You ain't going to do it. You can't take place of what God has made and what God has created. You can't make something different out of what God said in the foundation of the world. Amen. He made a man and a woman. He didn't make a woman to be a man and a man to be a woman. He made what he made and that's what he wants us to stay. That's the only way there's procreation is through by a man and a woman. Uh -huh. You can't do it any other way. They can adopt all they want to. They can go get artificially inseminated all they want to, but they play in God. Right. They're playing God. Right. we got to go the way that he purchased. Amen. That's right. we got to go the way that he purchased. Now this way is not the easiest way they are out there, but it's a for sure way. That's right. It is a for sure way. And it's a way that just the way I've been feeling down in my soul here lately. You know, when you feel it's good for as long, you say, Lord, where's it at? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Lord, right. have mercy. Where's it coming from? But I found out something here a while back. Mm -hmm. You know where the, everything's at? In the valley. Uh -huh. yeah. I got a guy up there that, and people that come down to the water office and they buy water. You know why they're buying water? They're back on a mountain. Right. Large in the valley. It costs yep. to live on the mountain. Uh -huh. I was talking to a guy the other day who lived back on a mountain. It costs. Amen. You know what they got to do? They got to pipe water to that mountain. Yep. Water. And if that mountain's higher than what our tanks is, they got to put a pump midways uh -huh. to get that water. And that costs them electric. Oh, yeah. Costs them to keep that pump up. Costs them to do it. And we get up here and we sometimes we get in the valley, and man, which just seems like it seems like the valley's the dream. But the Lord was showing me the other day we was back there on the mountain. We, we've got to stay one night back there, I think. And we were back there on the mountain, and I was sitting out there on my thing, and I was looking at the altar, looking at things, and there was a fog. Oh. The sun had already took it from upon the mountain. I said, Lord, God, ain't it good to be on the mountain? I mean, just in the, everything's just accessible. You yeah. get to hear the birds chirp faster. You get to hear everything. The wind blow more. This, you're just up on But you know what wind does sometimes? It makes things dry. Yeah. Yeah. It makes things dry. We wasn't created to stay on the mountain. Yeah. None of us was, no. in flesh or in spirit. Yeah. We wasn't made to be created and stay on the mountain. Right. And then as I started driving off the hill to work, and going down to where I started getting deeper into the fog, and everything, the sun went away. All the prettiness went away. And then there's this hazy fog that was down in there. But when I got down there, you know what I seen? I seen water in that creek. Got to go across the bridge and there's water going in that creek. Mm -hmm. Got to see gardens with things growing in them, Brother Wayne. Amen. That's what's in the valley. Amen. We are, It ain't all the time. You know why God puts us in the valley? Because He knows that's where it's going to sustain us. Amen. That's where it's sustaining. I ain't saying stay in the valley or take camp in the valley. We preached about all that. But understand when you're in the valley, God's got something there for you that's, that's going to sustain you and to keep you. It ain't all the time up on the mountain. It's the only place. You look around the valley. That's the reason He said there's a lily in that valley. We can find that lily in that valley. He's our bright and morning star. He's the one that can keep us. And when we're down in that valley, crops grow better. They try to grow hay and they try to, it does grow, but not like in the valley. That hay comes up three, four times a year down in the valley. But up on the mountain, you might get two good cuttings off of it. The thing they used to grow, try to grow tobacco back on the mountain. What did they have to do? They had to carry water to water that tobacco in the dry spell. But down in the valley, you can always find a mud hole somewhere. You can always find something in the creek somewhere. You can find something to eat down in the valley. That's why the valley is important in our life. And God knows we got to go through it. Because it's where we it sustains us and it keeps us today. And when, to get us ready for what he's coming back, he bought us. Amen. He bought us with a price. Mm -hmm. And not we're not of ourselves no more. No more. No more. No more. We gotta get this. That we're not of ourselves no more. Right. We are his workmanship. We are his to do as what he will. Yeah. I got an old truck down there, I bought it. I can take it apart and put it back together all I want to. Right. I can. I can lay, I can change tars, wheels, I can do whatever I want to that old truck. Let God do what he will in your life. Amen. Let God do what he will in your life. Right. 
And you can take and be magnified. Listen, in his eye. He's a good God. The church, if we, he's coming back. And he's coming back after a church that's made themselves ready. That's been washed by this blood. By the blood that's shed on Calvary, he's been bought. You've been bought. I'm telling you, we do. there's nowhere else we need to go but to Jesus. Believe him. I'm going to go over to Ephesians 1. It says, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, to the saints which are at Ephesus, and to the faithful in Christ Jesus, grace be to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed is, blessed be, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings and heavenly places in Christ, according as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy without blame before him in love. Having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of the grace wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace, wherein he hath abounded toward us in all wisdom and prudence, having made known unto us the mystery of his will, according to the good pleasure which he hath purposed in himself, that in the dispensation of the fullness of times he might gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are on earth, even in him in whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predesignated according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. If we don't believe what he's done, we ain't going to get what he's got. That's right. Amen. We've got to believe that we was before the foundation of the world. We was. A chosen people a chosen nation, yes. a people that He has set aside. We are His. Yes. Can you believe what the Word's telling you today? Yes. After the counsel of His own will. Yes. We ain't got to worry about it. There's a Spirit that'll lead and guide us in all truth. Yes. And whatever it says to do, if we know the voice of Him, then we can go do it. But He said, if we're His, there's not another voice can get us. He said, my sheep know my voice, and a stranger they will not follow Whose voice do we know? It says that we should be in the praise of His glory who first trusted in Christ. In whom ye also trusted after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that ye believed, ye were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, which the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possess possession unto the praise of of his glory. Did you hear that? Until, which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession unto the praise of his glory. He's coming back after what he bought. He's coming back after what he bought. Mm -hmm. Now we can jump in the buggy if we want to. You understand? You can jump in the buggy if you want to. Mm -hmm. Lots of things. If I take you down at food fair and I say, listen, it's paid for you, just go through and get it. Just go through and get it. Get everything in the bug that you can. We all need to get in what's part of what's paid for. Right. We need to get in. Need to get into the Word of God. Yeah. It's been paid for. Right. Our life has been paid for down here. It is. We can reap in the goodness and His healings mm -hmm. and His sacrifice. We can, re we, can, we can reap in everything that He has if we want. Prepaid. He's coming back after what He bought. Amen. After what He bought. Amen. You've been bought with a price. You're not your own. That's why these things keep leaving your life. Mm -hmm. That's why he keeps dealing with you on things that's wrong in your life. Mm -hmm. Because you're his. That's right. Count it a blessing when he chastises you. Yes. Mm -hmm. When he looks down and he condemns you for something. When there's something you've read out of the word and you're condemned plumb to the bone. Praise him for it. Why? Because he's purchased you. He said, this is the way I want you. This is what I'm coming back after. This needs to be out of your life. This don't need to be with you no more. Amen. Praise Him for it. Amen. And to think, we need to, take, we need to take it really to heart when God speaks to us and to get something out of our lives. Amen. We got to. 
Amen. We got to. Try. Things we try to bring into our life that, that we know that was wrong. Mm -hmm. We know we do. Mm -hmm. But we get we justify it in some other way. Right. God mm -hmm. bring it back out. Scream to them, Jesus. Oh, yeah. I pray and scream to them, Jesus. Mm -hmm. The ones that justified it some other way in the Word. You can twist this all you want to. Yeah. You can make it fit any lifestyle you want to live. Mm -hmm. You can't. Every church down the road can bring a scripture out of here to justify where they're at. Right. They can. Yeah. But Brother Wayne, when we get down to the nitty gritty of the word of God, he said, be ye holy for I am holy. That's right. And that set apart. He said, be ye a peculiar people. We to be a set apart people, Amen. a sanctified people, yeah. set, aside for the, set aside for the master's use. Yeah. That's who we are. Amen. We are his workmanship. Uh -huh. And we got to understand where he is today. If not, then we're going to go do anything we want Anytime we want, we'll talk the way we want, we'll dress the way we want, we'll go see who we want, we'll play anything we want, we'll watch anything we want, yep. and all we'll do it, we'll do it. Yep. We'll, oh, this ain't hurting my soul. You are, listen, you're damning your soul. That's right. Mm -hmm. You are. When you, we look set before these things, and we watch these things, and we do these things, it ought not be so. We've been bought with a price. Virtual We're his today. Virtual. My wife don't go see other men. Amen. Mm -mm. Amen. I got papers on her. I bought her. She's mine. She took my last name. Mm -hmm. She's mine today. How dare us to go visit another God? Amen. How dare us to do it a few times a year? Amen. How dare us to go to these places and do these things? Mm -hmm. When he said, be ye holy for I am holy. Right. How dare us to say those cuss words when he said, no filthy communication right. is yeah. to come out of your mouth. Amen. How dare us to talk about others when he told us to listen to when he told us to love one another. Amen. Take and edify one another. Lift yeah. each other up. Yeah. How dare us back off in the corner of two or three and have our little heyday on somebody else right. and on their spirit. Don't you think that hurts their spirit? Oh, yeah. That hurts them, brother. That hurts them. Yep. That puts them down. That makes them feel bad. Right. It does these things when he told us to edify and lift up. Yeah. It really did. God needs to take care. Of, God will take care of things through you if you let. Right. No matter if we're rebuking the church, Rebuke out there. Whatever it is, we'll let God do it. He'll do it in a way. Right. I went through Tudors the other morning. And I was sitting back here in line. There's a woman at the window. Man, I could just hear the cussing coming out that window. She was talking to this fellow in his truck. And that boy said, Sally, he going to go to church. And he looked at me. He said, really? I said, yeah. And we pulled up to the window there. And I was just praying, son. I mean, I was just I was shaking all over. Because the Lord was wanting this addressed. And I said, and I said, well, you're going to have to do it. I was. I was a trembling. I just, because I don't want nothing in me. I don't want to hurt nobody, no way. Amen. I don't want to offend nobody. I don't even want a good cussing myself. Right. So I know if I said the wrong thing, I'd get a good cussing. You hear me? Because she didn't afraid to cuss there. She wasn't afraid to cuss me. Right. So here when we pulled up and she gave me my food, she said, thank you, sorry for the wait. Then the Lord spoke. And he told her what needed to be said. And she said, thank you. Mm -hmm. See, God will take care of everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No matter if it's of the world or in here, yeah. he'll take care of it if we'll take and do what he asks yeah, us to do. do. Yeah. He, I always go back to he'll make even our enemies at peace with us. He will. He'll do it. I've had it firsthand. Amen. He'll yeah. make even our enemies at peace with us mm -hmm. if we'll take and serve him and keep his commandments and his statutes. He really will. Mm -hmm. We need to keep ourselves. I love the Lord. He's a good God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All right. It says, where did I stop at? Verse 13. Turn the page. I turned the page. That's what I got for there. All right. In whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of our salvation, in whom also after that ye believed, ye were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession until, unto the praise of his glory. We're his glory. My wife's my glory. Amen. That's what the Bible says. Mm -hmm. She's my glory. Her hair is her glory. Mm -hmm. Is what the Bible says. That's her glory. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do with it? That's what we do with it. Matthew 16 and 24 says, Then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Think about that. Deny yourself. Take up your cross. He said, If any man be my disciple, 
Then what do we got to do? We got to deny ourselves. We got to pick up our cross and we got to follow Jesus. He carried his cross, now we got to carry ours. It says for, in 25, it says, For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. 26, it says, For what is a man? Profit, if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul. For what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? What are we going to do? We need to be ready. Amen. He's coming back for what he purchased. Amen. He's coming back for a people that's made themselves ready. And how you do it? By the word of God. Amen. You can go out here and do all the good all deeds you are. want to. You can give out all the money you want to. You can do everything that's good, that's in the sight of man that you want to. But God wants you to accept his son. Amen. He wants you to accept the blood that was on Calvary. He wants you to be repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. That's the great commission. People's denying the great commission. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The great commission that Jesus gave. That's what he gave. And we're denying it. You can't deny that. That's part of it. That's essential for this. We've got to have it. It's got to be in our life. His name's got to be pronounced over. We've got to go down and water baptism in His name. We, we're bought. Yeah. I can't tell you any other way. Amen. But besides the way that He bought. Amen. This is the way that He bought. If I tell you anything else, I'm a liar. Yep. I'm a liar. Yes. The Word is the truth. He said, let God be true Amen. and every man be a liar. Right here is the truth. And that's all we have today. You, Second Peter Oh, you got that. The Lord moved me down there quick for some reason there a little bit ago. Focused my eyes on it. It says, 1 John 1 and 9, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Ain't that good? That if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Church, we've got to be ready. Come of the Lord is drawing nigh. I believe that. But if it don't, if it don't come in 30 years, are you going to look back and say, J.R. lied to me? Yep. I'm just telling you what the Word says. The Bible says he's coming as a thief in the night. Yep. Nobody knows the day or the hour, so I can't help but to stand and proclaim yep. that Jesus Christ is coming back. He's coming back, and we know not when. Amen. He may come what time I'm standing here speaking. And praise God, I'm out of here. Amen. Praise right. God, I'm out of here. I'm, I'm going to go, Brother Wayne. Amen. How many is that confident in what they have Amen. in Jesus? Amen. I'm telling you, by the word of God, this is the only way we're confident. It's right here. Amen. Have we done what he said? Are we living the way he asked us to live? Are we doing our very best? And you know your best. Amen. And God knows your best. I can't tell you your best. Amen. Can you, you can't. You can't look at me and say, well, you can do better than this and you can do better than that. I leave it up to God. Amen. I really do. Try now, I know some things in people's lives that I know they can get rid of. Right. Right. But why? why? Because it happened for me and it can happen for them. Right. Yeah. And it can. And I know God's power can overcome it in their lives and they can do it. Mm -hmm. I know that today. But I know when people, God's, got, God's the shepherd. We're his sheep. Uh -huh. We're his sheep. And I'm a, I'm a lowercase shepherd. That's all I am, just a lowercase shepherd. Yeah. I'm just out here to remind you that you've been bought with a price. I'm out here to remind you that you're not of your own. Yeah. I'm out here to remind you to depart from iniquity. The Bible teaches that he that nameth the name of Christ must depart from iniquity. Yes. Iniquity is sin. sin. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of life is through Jesus Christ our Lord. That's what we have. Sin will kill you. It'll take you farther than you want to go, take you longer, keep you longer than you want to stay. You've been bought today with a price. And that precious blood that shed on Calvary. Amen. Not only the blood, but the mind was made up of what he was to do. And I, it, it means even it, to know that people know what it's going You know it's something to help somebody. But most of the time we turn it away if we already know what we're going to get into and it's going to be hard. Right? right. I love helping people. Mm -hmm. I do. I love helping people. And then when it, But when you come with, well, it's going to take 500 for this and this and that, 
that's harder for people to swallow. Yeah. Right. It is. Yeah. But when you step into it and you're just helping and then it comes along, you just deal with it as you go. Right. But Jesus knows the price that he had to pay on Calvary. Right. My God. Amen. He was Amen. in that garden praying. The Bible says his sweat comes as great drops of blood. Yeah. As great drops of blood. Whether it was blood exactly, I don't know. It just says as. They say there's a place that you can get, that you can, your body can get to a place that blood will come through your pores. I believe that's what happened. I really do for some reason. I believe that's what happened. Because I believe he was tempted in all points as we are. Yeah. I really do. And I believe anything that could have happened to the flesh of God, that it happened so he'd know me and you. Amen. He right. come in the yeah, flesh yeah. to know me and you. You understand yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. That's why he come in the flesh. Yes. The Spirit didn't understand what we felt. Amen. The Spirit didn't understand what we went through. And he come in flesh so he could know us. The compassion came through Jesus Christ. The long-suffering yeah. came through Jesus Christ. Yeah. That's how we receive the long-suffering of God. Amen. And he's long-suffering that none would perish, but that all would come to repentance. Yeah. That's what he's wanting today. He's a good God. We've got to keep him. We've got to keep him first in our life. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. His righteousness, all these things will be added unto you. We need not to let the things of the world concern us. We need not to let the things of the world boggle our minds right. anymore. I did. I confess. Last year I had a problem with camping. I did. It bothered me when I didn't get to go. It did. It bothered me. I don't care to tell you. It bothered me. But I told the Lord, I said, this year ain't bothered me nothing. I told the wife, I said, because well, we was talking about there, I said, if we get there, we get there. If we don't, we don't. It don't matter. Whatever's got to be done in the kingdom, Amen. Whatever's, got, whatever's got to be done for me to help people, whatever's got, it's got to be done. Amen. It's got to be done. Because right. I believe that's one of my callings in my life, to help the body of Christ and yes. things that they ain't got way to help. Amen. I really do. I, really, I, I don't like people to use me and take advantage of me on it, but I, I'm there for the people that's in need. I want to help them. Right. I want to help them. Not with just money, with my back. That's where people's lacking today. That's where money separates a lot of people. Come on. They just pay Amen. it to get done, buddy. Just pay it to get done. Just, well, here, here you go. If that's it, I go off and do my own thing. He said, give your body a living sacrifice. Yeah. Amen. Holy and accept one to God. Used to, when I didn't have ties I could pay, I give my back. I did no more. I go help people because I didn't have the money to give tithe. But now I got the money to give tithes and to help. I didn't stop helping, Brother Wayne, Amen. just because I got the money to give tithes. Right. We got to, you want to lay up some treasures in heaven? Deny yourself. Amen. Help somebody. That's right. Amen. Yeah, but how come every time it's got to happen on my date night? How come every time it's got to happen on my vacation? How come every time that it just seems like they know my days off? You've heard it out of me. Oh yeah, I'm sure that, yeah. Huh? But that's the way it happens. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God know. Here, Brother Larry, pull in my day off. He didn't know. Uh -huh. Pull in, man, brake line load out. You know what he done? I said, well, I'm off working. He said, praise the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> you can fix my truck today. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's a blessing. Yeah. Because it, that's yeah. the way it is. Praise the Lord to him. That's all right. <laughs> well, y'all, the Lord knows what he's doing on your brother. <laughs> <laughs> Was the, just was before that, you're sitting in your recliner. Yeah, I'm going to get to do this today and that today. <laughs> oh, man. That's it. But it comes. What do you do? You give your life for your brother. You give your life for your brother or your sister. You do. That's what comes to me in all that. I don't know any other way to look at it, Brother Wayne. There's no other way. I don't. You can't ruin my day. When your day's in Jesus, you cannot ruin my day. You can't do it. Because it's all about him. Whatever it takes for him. If it slows me down on something, Lord, if you bless me tomorrow, I'll finish it. If not, whatever. It, uh, we just got to do it. Just got to go with Jesus. Live the days. The day's your last day. It is. And don't put off to tomorrow what you can get done today. Amen. We've got, we're living in a generation. Everybody wants, oh, put it off tomorrow. Off oh, tomorrow. No, don't do that. Do what you need to do and get it done today. And I ain't talking about just your housework and your yard and this and that. Don't let your son go down on your wrath with people. Your wife or your husband. Don't let it do it. Don't take him. Don't do it. Don't die in the wrong way. Don't do it. You don't want that. If you need to say sorry to somebody, quickly say it. If you need to, if you need forgiveness from somebody or you need to give somebody forgiveness, quickly go do it. He's coming back after a people that's ready. He bought you. This is what he asked us to do. He said forgive them. Forgive them. I forgive you, you forgive them. Right. It's that easy. Man, it takes some heart work over, Brother Wayne. Oh, yeah, it, it takes some heart work, but God's got the exercises Amen. in there in the book. 
for your heart to get right. It really does. We just got to keep on going. I love you, but he's bought you, church. He bought me. I'm bought. I'm not hey, mom. mom. I ain't mom. I, ain't, I know I said I bought her. She's, she's Christ. Yeah. You hear me? And she knows how to please me. Amen. She stayed in Christ. Amen. And me staying in Christ pleases her. Amen. Yes. So That's what it's supposed to be. Amen. It is. If we stay in Christ, we're going to be pleased with one another. We really are. We stay Amen. in Christ. I love it. He's a good God. I give my family to him. I give my family to him. I do. That's why my kids can't go some places. That's why my kids can't stay with some people. That's why my kids just can't do anything they want. Amen. They're God's kids. Yep. They're not mine. Okay, I was bought with a price. He bought them also. Right. And they're his. Mm -hmm. And I'm raising them in the admonition and omnition of the Lord. Teaching them the way that they should go. Training them up in the way they should go. Yes. Brother Wayne, if we turn them loose, that's the way they think. We're all gonna that's raise the them. way they do it. That's what they want. But no, you can't do it. And I, I love my kids. I do. I'm my wife, my kids, my family, and I believe we're all doing the best we can with our children. Amen. And get it. I, I've been praying, Lord, show me. I don't want, I don't want them to resent Daddy and Mommy. Right. I don't want them to. You know, because we want to keep a relationship with our children. Keep them the, a talking relationship yeah. and keep where they will come to us for everything. Right. they got to have somebody to come to. I don't want them going to a lost person. Right. Lord, no. That's our word. You do not go to counsel to a lost person if you're in Christ. You do That's not. Right. You find you godly people. You know their life and they're living right Amen. and they're living holy. Amen. And you go to them people for help. You do that. I don't want my kids going to ungodly people for help. You know why ungodly people can't help? They got ungodly answers. Yep. They don't go by the word of God. Amen. They've got every other fix. Take a pill, do this, take a shot, do this, whatever. That's all they have for you. We cannot go to ungodly people for answers. We are God's people. We stay keep it within the household of faith. And you're going to be all right. I believe that. But we've been bought. He's coming back for what he bought, church. He really is. If we ain't ready, ready guess what? Ready or not, here he comes. That's right. Don't matter. On that day and that hour when it when it happens, whatever time it is, whatever we're dealing with, we, we're going to be dealing with it. Okay? He that's righteous, let him remain righteous. That's it. It's going to be. It's going to come down to that. So let's make sure our hearts is ready. I like for every day to be like this morning was. Every day. Man, I looked outside, it's so bright and blue. That sun was shining. I didn't just feel the plants growing. <laughs> Couldn't you? Yeah. Just feel it grow. I can hear the grass growing. And just smile. And you know why? Because water was yesterday. Sun was today. Huh? God will bring an increase, won't it? Little birds out there. I ain't made my kids a song about a worm. Birds eating that little red worm. Oh, he's thankful for that worm. He's in our tickling his belly. Yeah, little red worm. Think about that, kids. Little red worm. Yeah. You got to think about all that. This is a big world. If we look through it through God's eyes, we can have ourselves a time. You know? You know how? You know what eyes he gives us, don't you? Their eyes. Their eyes. Them little fellas right there. If we could see <laughs> how big it is. How big, Lord, give me God, give me children's eyes so I can see how big you are. Amen. Oh, how big all this is. Right. Walk up to a tree. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. How big and how beautiful and what it took to make it. My God. Come as humble as a little child. We can have ourselves a time, can't we? We just keep the mind of Christ. Things try to pull us away from that mind all the time. Look at it. I do. I know I'm preaching myself, Mom. I preach to myself. I do. I preach to myself up here. I do. Because why? I want to live up to what I preach. Amen. I want to live up to what I preach. Man, ain't worth a nickel if you can't live what he preaches. That's right. That's right. Ain't worth a nickel if you can't live what he preaches. Faith. You do it. I love the Lord. He's a good God. The church, we hope we helped you somehow. But I just, I just want everybody to be ready. Amen. I do. We're going to keep getting ready. Okay, I got some things I'm working on in the Lord and just writing down and you know, for some teaching and stuff. He's got a lot on my heart for some things. And I'm, I'm wanting to give it here. I really am. I'm wanting to give it. And, uh, but I, I just, I love him. But he's coming back. 
for what he bought. That's right. And we better be ready, better because we better understand we're purchased. If we're not ready, it's going to pass us right on up. And we're going to have to suffer with what those that wasn't ready. He don't buy a phony really product, don't. does he? Yeah, yeah, we're going to be at those children of disobedience is what it is. Yeah. See, obedience, a lot of people, they look they look at these things like the baptism and being filled with the Holy Ghost and all this stuff. What about just plain out obedience? That's right. They don't yeah. think about that. Yeah. He said he that's willing and obedient shall eat the good of the land. Yeah. Right. And that means here too, mm-hmm. eating the good of the land. We're going to have it. So we better be, we better take the, the word and be willing and obedient to the word. Or we're going to be denied one day. He said, you deny me before men, I'll deny you before my father and his angels. So we better not be denying him in anything. He said, all things you do in word and deed, do it all in the name of Jesus Christ. Giving glory to God the Father by him. That's why we pray over our food in Jesus' name. We're baptized in Jesus' name. We pray, end every prayer in Jesus' name. Everything we do, Lord, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Everything. But a lot of them just denying the baptism part. They'll do everything in Jesus' name, but be baptized in Jesus' name. Ain't that something? And that was the Great Commission. Yes, sir. The Great Commission. Mm-hmm. He said, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Jesus. And then when the apostles carried that out, they baptized them in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of their sins. Amen. The apostles is who he told the Great Commission to. Amen. That's right. And it's to carry on through us. Uh-huh. So we better get somewhere to a water hole Amen. and be baptized in Jesus' name. That's what we got to do. Amen. It's the truth. It's hated this day and time. Mm-hmm. You can't, it don't even make sense. It don't even make sense. It don't. It don't. How you can tell somebody that you baptize in Jesus' name and they get so mad as they do. Yeah. 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 You're wrong. How does that make sense? And then you love God. They believe in being baptized in titles. I know, but how do they? But to just to simply say Jesus' name just. It makes them angry. It makes them so mad. It stirs up the devil. And they think you're living a false doctrine when that's the only way that the apostles baptized. Come on. The only way that you can find in the Bible that anybody went down in the name they went down in the name of Jesus underwater. Amen. Even Philip, the eunuch, even Philip, baptism was preached by him to the eunuch that sat in the chariot. He said, what hinders me to be baptized? He said, do you believe? He, he said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He said, let's go to the water hole. He went to the water hole and baptized him in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. He baptized him in the name of the Lord. Yeah. You can't deny there's only one way that they taught. You know where they find being baptized in the titles at? In history. History is the only place that you can find. Not in the Bible, but in history. It's the only place you can find that they was baptized in the titles. And that's when the Roman Catholic Church brought it in. And they commanded for them. For them. It wasn't even for us. For the Christians. It was for them. They adopted Christianity into the Roman Catholic Church is what they done. Right. And then what happened? All the little churches started adopting what they was doing. But from the beginning, how many wants to say that they were with the first church? I went to the first church. The first church. Yeah. I ain't talking about the first Baptist. I ain't talking about the first Apostolic. I ain't talking about the first Pentecostal. I'm talking about the first church. Amen. That's right. The first church yeah. was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of their sins. Mm-hmm. The Bible says there's 3,000 souls added to the church that day. Yeah, yeah. Added to the what? The church. Yeah. And what did they do? They continued in the apostles' doctrine. Yeah. Yeah. It's what they done. That's what Read, on done. Yeah. That's what Read on down. Read on down. It's truth right before your eyes. Yeah. And it pricks your heart. Right. When it pricked their heart, what did it say? What must we, we do? Peter said, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. That's what happened to them. After Peter preached, then Peter gave the command, then the Great Commission started coming. They started doing what Jesus said. Jesus said, go and baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. And that name is Jesus Christ. Amen. That's his name today. Amen. And, and it's not even that. They tell them, they say, well, we're, just going, we're going to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. And they take them underwater and they lift them back up and they let them walk upon the bank. Right. Never did say the name of Jesus. They don't know who he is. Never did say the name of Jesus. I love the Lord. It's just hard to know uh, what he's illuminated me on. 
to not expound on. Amen. Because I know for a fact that this is the right. Listen, if it's not the right way, I'm going to hell over it. Yeah. That's just how for sure I am in it. If it's not right, then I'm going to hell over it. If being filled with the Holy Ghost and evidence and tongues is not right, I'll go to hell over it. But it's in this book and it's right. And it's, it's following it right on down through. And we've got to live in it, Brother Wayne. We've got to do what the Bible says. No, We had people from other churches come and we baptized them in Jesus' name because they couldn't get baptized in Jesus' name. That's right. Yeah. Their people didn't believe in baptizing you in Jesus' name. So they come and ask to be baptized in Jesus' name. Ain't that a shame? That's a shame. He, are, we could just do it. What are people saved today? I, I don't know. Well, they're just ignorant of it. They're going by what they've been taught over the years. That's what right. it is. Man. They're following man, not the book. Okay? It's good enough for, they got the same good enough for Grandpa. It's good enough for me. I ain't going on for Grandpa. I ain't going on Grandma. I ain't going on Daddy and Mommy. I ain't a doing it. Go I'm going to go the way Jesus yes, said. I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man can come to the Father but through and by me. So that's the way Jesus ordered You can't go to heaven on ignorance. You can't go to heaven on ignorance. No, you sure can't. People says ignorance is bliss. I beg your pardon. That's right. You know what ignorance does? You just already had a choice made for you. You was born into sin, and you're going to be required of that sin when you stand before him. That's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. Everybody's worried about somebody not knowing. Everybody knows. He poured it out on all flesh. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. There's something in everybody that they know that there's a higher power. Yeah, they know there's a, even the old Indian out there. He knows that there's a higher power than somebody else for him to go to. I love the Lord. He's a good God. Everybody give him a hand clap.